Marcos, I think the defendant in his answer said something to the effect that I didn't expect my first cousin to treat me so formally and in such a transactional way. And then you felt he was taking advantage of you. Exactly. Now, you say that you only owed a month's rent. About, yeah, a month, yeah. How much was that? that how much was did you owe? 1200 And how much do you say that he owes you? Um, back he, rent. He's back rent about 1648 and he was said, oh, okay, are you never satisfied? And it's actually in the So other. you're off $400 on that rent. On that. He also and stated that he wanted me to pay everything in full. He wouldn't take no more payments. So I was like, how am I supposed to do that? Okay. He's either that or get out. And what about the car? How much do you owe in the car? Nothing. Did he pay off the car? He did not How pay much does he owe you for the car? On the vehicle, he owes 2800 still. That's a lot of money. Do you have the car? Yeah. You're driving around in that vehicle. No, it doesn't, do you work. Owe on it? it doesn't work. Well, all right. How much did you pay towards that car? It, it adds up Just to be the bottom line. Twenty-two hundred. Is that true? Is it That's paid? not true. Okay. I'm going to open it up to my. I have a question, so... Armando. Do you have any proof of any of these payments that you say you made? Some of them. They're right here on this paper. You can give it to Officer Montano. They're highlighted. That's some of the transactions for the rent and vehicle. I wasn't able to get the rest. Why couldn't you get the rest? They didn't have it. Why? Because when we started it, it was started. The period was from December of 2021, and it started from that month, so I didn't start till the next year, the following January. These are the payments that you made towards both rent and car? Yes. What did you have in your rooms in terms of belongings that you and lost? All I had to, my, to myself, my clothes, my kids' clothes. I had some of their important papers, like their social security cards, my social security card, pretty much everything I had to my name. Did you just dump all that stuff? No, actually, I actually went through all of it, and anything that I knew that was, that was of need, I put it aside, and I messaged him, and I told him, hey, come pick up your stuff. He didn't come pick it up. He ignored you, it. So what happened to it? A lot of the clothes, I literally donated it to the <laughs> thrift store. Damn. I got, dropped it off. I didn't save anything. Why didn't you go get your stuff when he tried to reach out? He messaged me one time or two, and after, I didn't respond. Just the simple fact of the way he was coming at me, which I do have some of the messages right here. I felt threatened. Oh, let me, let me see yeah. those. All yeah. right, are we good? I think I have what I need. Good. All right, we're going to excuse both of you. Thank you very much. Thank you, Your Honor. Thank you. Thank you. This courtroom is now in recess. Okay, gentlemen, uh, we have rendered mm. a unanimous verdict in this case. Money is owed, and the issue was how much. Armando, you admitted that you owed a month's rent. Per your complaint, Marcos, you claim that the rent increased to $1,200. We're inclined to give you $1,200 for, for that one month's rent. As far as the car is concerned, Armando, whether it works or not, you still have the car. And you didn't provide any evidence of any payments that were made towards the car. So we're gonna go ahead and give you credit for the testimony that you provided that you are still owed $2,800 on that car. As far as the $800 is concerned for the property damage, you failed to prove basically that he was responsible for the damage that was caused. Not to mention that you did lock him out illegally. It was improper. So that sort of offsets that. So we're not going to award you the $800 towards the damage to the property. So that leaves a rent amount for $1,200, $2,800 towards a car for a grand total of $4,000 in favor of the plaintiff. And that is the verdict for today.